Hey, I'm Dee and welcome to my Joyful Retirement channel. I'm so glad that you've landed here because this is where I'm gonna talk about all the things that bring me joy and the things that you tell me bring you joy in retirement because what a great time of life if we can embrace it for what it is. Hopefully it's a time where you can indulge some of your passions a little bit more than you were able to when you were working full time. I know that's one of my goals is to just indulge in those passions that I've had for years and years, but that I really couldn't just sink my teeth into and maybe enjoy on a different level. So one of them is flowers. I love fresh flowers. I love everything about having them around me, especially on my patio where I spend time drinking coffee, having my quiet time, enjoying just the sound of the birds and all the things, even the sound of dripping water, because this is the sound of life when it comes to your flower baskets. You gotta water them so much this time of year. I do mine about at least three times a day. And so anyway, all of that to say that since flowers are one of my joyful living things, I thought I would share with you one of the things that has helped me keep it joyful because everything outside has a downside. I'm sorry, it just does. And usually it involves bugs critters, insects, things that want to steal your joy. And so I got to fight back against those so that I don't sit out here the whole time. I'm enjoying, you know, being in my little chair, having my quiet time, having my cup of coffee, but I'm looking at a flower that is crispy and dead because some bugs came along and decided they wanted to eat it. So I have found, and I want to tell you, I have found the best way to keep your plants going, especially through these hot summer months when the bugs arrive and decide that this is their buffet. And I wanna share that with you because it is such a great product. And you know, I'm only gonna tell you about things on this channel that really work, that have been tried and true, that I have found solve a big problem. And so I'm gonna tell you about this, are you ready? It's in a big red bottle, it's called Seven. And I didn't know about this. I'd never even heard of it. Frankly, I had never, really even heard of how devastating bugs can be to your plants until a few years ago when my daughter and son-in-law owned a wedding venue. And they owned this beautiful, I'll show you some pictures, they owned this spectacular wedding venue that is now owned by some friends of ours. And it is, it's gorgeous. And one of the highlights is we had beautiful flower baskets everywhere. And I, I decided oh, that'll be my job. I'll take care. I love flowers. I'll take care of the flower baskets. And for the most part, I did. I just, I was in heaven. I even like deadheading. I mean, I, like I cannot stand to be this close to my flower basket and not start deadheading. It's just, I think it's therapy for me. So anyway, I would go out and I would deadhead. I'd make sure they were getting lots of water. And I thought I was doing such a good job. And here we had all these weddings and people would come and they would ooh and ah at the flowers. But then one day, and I'm not even kidding you, one day I walked out to water the flowers, take care, do some deadheading, and I mean some bug had arrived, I am sure, overnight, and started eating on those flowers. And I had, I mean, just devastation throughout the wedding venue. I mean, they, they were just taking over. And so I started investigating, and I gotta tell you, they were this little green worm looking thing. I think it's called a cutworm. And they had come in by the hundreds and we're munching away, all the blooms were gone. And we, this was like on a Sunday, early Sunday morning, and we had weddings like the next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I had to figure out a solution. I started searching, I started asking, I started begging people to help me find something that would work. And lo and behold, I was told about this, and that's why I'm telling you about it, because this saved those flowers and made sure that those weddings had beautiful flowers, which is kind of important. I mean, that was like pressure. Now I have pressure because I want, I want these to be pretty. I don't have to have pressure because somebody's having their wedding on my porch, but it's awfully nice. If you're gonna invest in the flowers, if you're going to have them around you, to find products that help you make them last, especially if you can make them last through the hot, hot summer months like August. And then what about this? I was able to keep our wedding flowers going through the end of October until it really froze in our particular climate. You can do the same, and I really, I promise you, this stuff is good. And so you can click the link below, takes you to an easy way to order this. I really like it with this because this is the concentrate that you hook your hose up to, and then it mixes and you just 
spray away and you know it's so easy and it lasts forever I mean this this thing has lasted me all summer so it's really a good way to efficiently take care of killing those bugs and let me tell you it works I started spraying those flowers at the wedding venue that very first time and I thought well I hope this is as good as they say but how good can it be well I'm here to tell you in just a few minutes those little green worms started dropping off of those big flower baskets that I had. I mean, there were hundreds and hundreds of them. It was gross, honestly, but it was also it was also joyful. Yay! I found something that would kill those stinking bugs. So I'm here to tell you, it's a great it's a great thing. I'm all for seven. It's S E V I N insect killer. This is the ready to spray bottle. You hook it up to your hose. They have just those squirt bottles of it too. They have concentrate. If you already have a bottle like this that you can hook up to your hose, all the better. If, if they don't have this available, you might have to buy one of those bottles. But this works not only on your vegetables, or not only on your flowers, but on your vegetables and your fruits too. I'm not big on that. I don't love spraying stuff on those, but I've done it before and then just waited a long time before we ever eat them. Um, and it's in the instructions, it says that that's okay. So it's easy. It's honestly, it's reasonable because it lasts for so long and it actually works. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to leave a comment below. If you have a product like this, maybe you use something similar or you have found something that really works so you can rescue your flowers <laughs> in the heat of summer. I'd like to know about it because I always want to learn new things. And then I'd also love your comments if you have other suggestions about your passions in retirement. What are you really enjoying? What's bringing you joy? And that's going to be fun for me to explore more of those things too. And if you would subscribe and share my YouTube channel, gosh, I'd appreciate that too because I want to find a community of us folk who are looking for a joyful retirement where we can not only enjoy it for ourselves but spread joy to others that's what i hope that we can create right here thank you so much for joining me remember this you can get just hit the link below like subscribe and share the youtube channel and i will see you later